Good morning, welcome or well, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. I hope you like this type of content. I hope you like the video. And if you do, please like below and subscribe. Subscribing is free. If you're not new to my channel, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. Today I wanted to do a really quick uh, comparison. I have the uh, Nano Speedy from, you know, a little bit back, I think from like 2020. And I recently got over the holidays the uh, trunk papillon so I wanted to compare the two and I wanted to see if I really need to keep this nano speedy um, I've used it a few times but it's in almost like new condition and I wanted to see if there's really a difference does it make sense you know to, to keep both or should I let let this little guy go so I'm doing my mod shot first. This is how the uh, trunk looks on me. Very cute. I didn't adjust the straps. It's however it came is the is the length, and uh, the nano is not adjustable. That's an issue. And but this is where it lays on me. So I'm only five one. So considering that it's not adjustable, it's a pretty good length for someone who's short like me. So anyway, let me come closer and do, without choking myself, um, a better comparison. I already have this loaded with stuff, with all the things that I would normally use, but I have a couple of extra things. Um, so first, let me just start by saying um, they both hold a lot. <laughs> And they're very deceiving. So, you know, we could see the size. This stands a lot taller. This um, is a lot um, wider. This is how the depth looks, and this is how the depth looks. I'm going to put the measurements down below. I don't want to take the time to start measuring. I probably should have measured before I started the video, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'll put the measurements down below. But I just want to show you what they look like next to each other, and what they hold. So right now, I have in this, oh, oh wait, let me back up a little bit. This has a detachable and adjustable strap, and it's a very thick strap, as you can see. And it also comes with a chain. There are two D-rings on either side, so you could put, um, you could just wear it with this strap, or you could put the top handle chain it came with on there for decoration. What a carry. Uh, but I'm wearing it on my neck. <laughs> and I'll show you guys later. Those of you who watched my recent video, I was wearing this over a turtleneck. So today I decided to put it on to see how it would look on an open neck shirt. This chain is actually the chain that comes with this bag. So, hey, you know, get your money's worth. You get jewelry, you get a bag. Anyway, so this one, no detachable strap. The newer one they made, the Speedy Bandolier, has an adjustable detachable strap. And it's also a lot more money than this is. Those are going for 2000 and up on the resale market. This one is going for 1500 and that's for a not so great condition one. The average of uh, price for this on the resale market is like 19, $1,900 for this. It's crazy. Uh, this is still available. This bag was close to 3000, absolutely insane. Um, and I will not do that again. It was a one time for me and yeah, no, <laughs> the price, we, we went through that yesterday on my rant. If you didn't see yesterday's video about how we're paying the price for all the price hikes in luxury, check that video out. Um, anyway, let's open this right away. Let's open this now. Look at what this has in here. I'm not even using my zippy wallet. I'm using a card case, but I wanted to show you what fits in this little trunk papillon. 
don't even know how to pronounce Papillon? Louis Vuitton Trunk Papillon. Look at what's in here. I'm going to show you. It's my Zippy wallet, which I don't usually use on the weekend. I use this just, you know, during the week. My phone, which is um, a 7, an iPhone 7. My mini readers. My little pouch with a mini hand sanitizer and a chapstick. And my keys. <laughs> That's what's in here. That's pretty much everything I need to take. I, I don't need, you know, and usually I hold my phone in my pocket or in my hand. Okay, so let me show you without my bag falling all over the floor if the same things will fit in the Nano Speedy. You know the Nanos have very small mouths but they have big, big bodies, small mouths, big bodies. So let's just give it a try. The Nano, not the Nano, the Speedy Wallet. It's in, it's in there. My phone. Yeah, my phone. My phone and the Speedy Wallet is in there. Mini readers, throw that right in. My little pouch with my hand sanitizer and my chapstick goes right in. And my keys, again, if it's cold out and I'm wearing a jacket, I'll usually have my keys in my pocket and my phone in my hand or my phone in my pocket. But you know, I'm just gonna throw these right in. It holds, this Nano holds exactly the same thing that this Trunk Papillion Papillon holds. Same exact amount of stuff that just went in here and was transferred into here. This is, this is amazing. So like, let's say I'm not going to use the big wallet. I don't need to. I'm going to use my card case, my new Dior card case, which I've been loving this, you know, with no issue, goes right in. Um, not an issue. Let's see if I want to put um, a full lipstick case. Yes, I am using my Amazon lipstick case, and I'm going to continue to do so until something better comes along. Um, put that in there. No problem. Okay, this is what the Nano holds. It has a top handle, which the trunk doesn't, and it's very, uh, you can't, I could probably, I could get my hand through, but the average person, I'm very small. If you have large forearms, you're not going to get your hand through on this, but you could hold it by the uh, top handles, and you could crossbody it. Those are the two ways. Let's see, I'm going to see if full glass case fits in here. No problem. Um, let's say I'm going to take my phone, of course, with the full glass case. It's in there. Uh, phone, glasses, card holder. Phone, full glass case, full glasses case, and card holder. Um, if I had to choose something else for here, I would say, let's say if the keys will fit in there. Yep, you could put the keys in there. Will it close? It will close if I could see where I'm going, but I can't see where I'm going. Oh, I was doing it wrong. It closes completely. It's definitely heavy, but it closes. So that, you know, that's pretty impressive for this little thing to hold all of that. A full glasses case, a phone, keys, and a card holder. Let's see if the... Uh, 
Will the Speedy hold my phone, my uh, glasses? I'm still sleeping. Sorry, guys. I'm taking out the mini readers and the mini pack. Let's see. Will this hold? It goes. Full glasses case goes in. So let's say full glasses. Phone. This is the nano card case. Keys. It's, it's crazy. It's like a Volkswagen with clowns. Look at this. Full eyeglasses case. Phone. Card holder. Keys. I'll throw my mini readers in there too. So basically, these two bags hold exactly the same thing. They hold the same exact thing. Really, all your essentials that you need to run around on a weekend. You know, maybe you're not going to travel with it, but it's, it's amazing how they both hold the same amount. This is, and they call this a nano. This, I, they don't call it anything. I mean, it's just, it's small. But I'm telling you that you can't go wrong with either bag. The only difference is you can't get this one new, the nano, and you're going to pay 15, 16, 17, 18, even 2,000. 2,000 for this on the resale market in excellent condition, still used. This one is still on the Louis Vuitton site, and it's, good, it's I think, $29.50, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they actually have this on Fashion File new also for like 100 more than Louis Vuitton had it for. I have no clue why anyone would do that. It makes no sense. So anyway, like I said, if you're interested in either one of these bags, they hold a lot. They both hold the same amount. <laughs> they really do. Um, this one, no detachable strap. This one, detachable strap, chain for decorative purposes or to carry a top handle. This one is twice the price. Twice the price and it's um, new. And right now uh, the used sites are probably I mean, no, Fashion File might not have it anymore, but they were selling it for more than retail. Um, this one, you're going to only get, you know, on the resale market. The Nano that has the detachable and adjustable strap is over 2000 Over 2000 But this one, you can get for like maybe 18 or 19 depending on the condition. But that's still crazy. It's still crazy. For this little canvas bag, $2,000. In any case, I'm thinking of letting this one go. Um, they're both very different looking. They both hold a ton. So I really, I can't say, oh, you know, one is more functional than the other. They're both equally functional. Um, I don't know if I want to let this little guy go. I got this one on eBay before they were doing authentication before I was on YouTube, before I was really, you know, not sure about what's going to be authentic or not. However, I brought this bag to Fashion File. I told them I wanted to sell it just so they would inspect it and give me a price. And last year they offered me a thousand dollars for this Nano. So I know that they authenticated it and they wanted to give me a thousand dollars for this last year. I don't know. Maybe they'd give me more now. I have no idea. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of it. I haven't used this one yet. That's terrible. I've used this bag several times. I haven't used this one at all. Uh, and that's not good. That's not good. This bag was twice the price of this bag. And I, I really need to use this bag. I'm thinking maybe today because it's a nice sunny day. Um, I really don't have to worry about the vaqueta. The, the it's dark. Um, but there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of hardware. And you know how I feel about Louis Vuitton hardware. Caca. That's what I feel about Louis Vuitton hardware. <laughs> because this will probably be orange in three more months. Um, anyway, 
Do you think I should just keep both? I'm telling you guys, I'm running out of space. I, I don't have the room. I don't have a big, huge luxury closet. I don't have a spare bedroom where I could set it up as a studio. I'm running out of space. Some of my bags are on top of each other. Like the ones that are very structured, I'll put a very, very light bag in its dust bag on top of that bag. And I know I shouldn't do that, but I don't have a choice. Otherwise, they're spilling out of my closet. So I really, I feel like I have to start letting go or stop buying. <laughs> you know, th those are my choices. Um, anyway, so quickly, jewelry of the day. My shirt, what am my boobs getting bigger? This shirt never pulled so much. Anyway. I'm wearing the gold. This, if you can't tell on my monitor, this is this is like a green sage kind of shirt. And I have my Louis Vuitton chain that belongs to that bag. I love this as a chain. I think it's a great necklace. Um, I'm wearing a gold and diamond uh, band. I have my Louis Vuitton bracelet that I got from Louis Vuitton which I absolutely love. I don't wear it to work because these little things keep banging on, well, banging on the desk. I said, I, I'm not gonna do that, it's gonna get all scratched up. I just have my uh, mom's bracelet watch. She got in the Bahamas about 30 years ago. And my studs. But really guys, uh, I mean, I could take this off now and show you how it looks on the, on the trunk if you're interested. If I can do this without looking in a mirror, I probably can. Yeah, this is really such a great idea. I, I don't know. I, 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 I like it better as a necklace than on the bag, actually. But let me show you how it looks. Sorry about all the noise. This is how it looks. The strap is all wonky. Okay. Let me put the, sh the strap up. Okay, what's going on here? All right, there we go. Sorry. Here's the strap, and here's what it would look like if the, um... See, they kind of get in the way of each other over here, if you see what I mean. They kind of get in the way of each other. Um, but I'll, I'm just giving you a quick, a quick view. I'm not, you know... This is how it would look with the strap on and the chain, decorative... I could probably put the big strap on the bottom D-ring, so this would be on top and hang better. Um, and this is what it would look like if you're just carrying it without the strap, let's say. You know, you don't take the strap. Look like this. It's really beautiful. I mean, I bought it. Obviously, I liked it. <laughs> um, but I really like wearing this around my neck. I think it looks fantastic. I really do. I, I think it's it's fantastic, and you know, Louis, don't tell Louis Vuitton because they'll say, "Oh no, they're using our chains for necklaces." Not okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you're all having a great day, whatever time it is you're watching this. And um, I'm off tomorrow from work. I might throw in an extra video. I don't know. I can't can't think of much to do right now. I know next week we're going to be doing a collab, me and some of the ladies. So stay tuned for that. I believe that's next Sunday, the 26th. Are we already the end of February? Wow. Anyway, so stay tuned for that and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, by the way, look on my community page. I'm still trying to sell that Valentino red leather tote. And my Givenchy padlock Antigona. Um, under $1,000, mint condition with all the bells and whistles. Um, please check that out. And let me know if you think I should uh, sell this little guy or keep it. The more I look at it, the more I like feel like I want to keep it. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.